because it's fun to learn, fun to listen, and it's fun to um, see with Emma, and she does and the speech that monster, and we don't do the duck ends. And lines and numbers and sound picks, and we can put on um, like this. Ed does said. Ed does said. Ed does said. Ed. But you need this. So if we did the word any, the monster routine is say it over the board any. Duck hands. E N E N E. Speech sound lines. E N E N E. Play it. E N E N E speech and numbers. E N E N E. So that's all the phonemic awareness part. So you're checking that when he hears the word N E, he knows it's E N E N E. Then he chooses the monster. So again, it's phonemic awareness. E N E N E. So all of this is phonemic awareness. It's you using this as an evaluation tool to know that he is hearing those sounds. E, N, E, N, E. That's all the phonemic awareness right. We know that's right. We know there's no issues there with the phonemic awareness. Because if he'd said something different because he's not hearing those sounds, we'd know that here. The monster routine is not just about the child learning. It's a diagnostic tool. Then you show the word show the word so there it is any and then he can go okay so let's map it so the picture for the sound e eh is here the picture for the sound n mm is here the picture for the sound e is here so in this word N -E -N -E. In this word, the representation for E is an A, the representation for N is an N, the representation for E is a Y. E -N -E -N -E. Then they write it at least three times. E -N -E -N -E. E -N -E -N -E. E -N -E -N -E. And that stores it into long term memory. mapping. This is what it is. This is it. This is visible learning, visible teaching, whatever. But the main thing for you to know is that just because he can look at this word and say any means nothing with regards to his learning. What we want him to understand is the mapping of it. So even if you say to him, oh, e -N -E -N -E, it do you don't know if he's understood that any. E N E N E. E N E N E. Let's do the word was. W O S was. So if I was to play the speech on piano, I'd play W O S was. W O S was. W O S was. W -O -S -was. Was, was monster routine for the word was. Hello, Miss Emma. I'm gonna do this for you. What today's word is was. What was was. Were. Oh, naughty pen today. Were. Oh. Was. What a uh, was. What a uh, was. What a uh, was. And what and a uh, is the a. What a it's S today. Oops, wrong way. I'll put it on my finger. What oh, was? Oh, I'm going to do this for the ending for you. This word is just a word. Normal word. Um, this O uh, is a uh, A for a uh, uh today, and this Z is a S today. 
So remember the monsters are just phonetic symbols for kids. So there's monster A who has no link whatsoever to the letter A unless the letter A represents the sound A in a word. Monster mat. And make sure when you do the monster mat that the monsters without, sat graphic, where, without the phonetic symbols are on the top. This one's at the bottom, so don't cut this one up. Just cut this one up. Okay, so in the, the mapping uh, handbook, this is phase one, all of these words can be spelt and written using s at put it mm, with those graphemes uh, so these monsters say a sound you know dog says woof cat says meow this monster says s at p -i -n. so when they want to tell us messages they sit next to each other from left to right and we follow the monster sounds to say the words so here what we're saying to them is that this is the letter s in this um, activity that we're going to be doing, this S is going to represent the sound that this monster says. This is going to represent the A that that monster says, etc, etc. So when they come to building all of these words, if they've got poor phonemic awareness, it's important that they need know these words. So that like here, well, what could that be? Is it dog? Is it, what well, you know, girl? What is it? So they follow the monster sounds to say the word sit, sit, sit. So she says sit and the dog sits. So within the first week, we're just doing this for phonemic awareness so they understand what we're doing when we're talking on paper. The sounds, follow the sounds, say the word. And if you want to build the word, put the monsters out in the right order to tell somebody else. Sip, sip, sip. Within the first week, we're using the graphemes. So that they're actually building the words. But can you see that, um, like in the word ant here, if an Australian child says, oh, that's an ant, we're saying it is an ant, it's a red ant. But actually, when we're reading and spelling, we're using the monsters, we're going to use the sounds ant, ant, even if you say Ant. So here it shows the segmentation, but also shows the sounds that the, that he needs to think of. S -e -d -said. So on your monster mat, you've got his monster E, who represents the E. Uh, that's the phonetic symbol. I know it looks like an E, but that's the phonetic symbol. Um, because it matters about the phonetic symbols because they it means it doesn't link with the letter unless it's in a word. In here, the word said, the E sound is represented by the AI. Ed said. Island 
Right.